Uh, first of all, let me share to congratulate the area for creating the Asia CCUS network and for hosting this first meeting uh, of the network. Uh, this network is very timely uh, as the world is looking all possible ways to find solution to mitigate greenhouse gas emission to achieve the target of Paris Agreement by mid of the century. We support the CCUS network uh, as to contribute to set up CCUS value chain through knowledge sharing, research studies, and capacity building training. We also share the important role of CCS and CCS is in, as it's getting more technically and economically viable, including for Indonesia. Uh, let's start with the first slide, please. Thank you. Uh, this is our uh, NDC and uh, LTS uh, and that a uh, target. Uh, as you can see from uh, this slide that we uh, plan to reduce our CO2 emission, our greenhouse gas emission uh, under the NDC uh, target by 2030. And very recently, we also uh, preparing our uh, long-term strategy, uh, low carbon and climate resilience, LTS, LCCR, our NZA program. Where, as you can see from the, the, the slide, that we still simulate uh, the use of uh, IGCC uh, and the gas uh, power plant uh, with CCS and CCUS. So we see here that uh, the role of CCS and CCUS in Indonesia in electricity sectors, as well as on the, on the oil and gas sectors, is getting more and more uh, important in the future. Next slide, please. We have uh, identified uh, a number of potential CO2 storage uh, in many parts of the country, uh, from depleted oil and gas reservoirs and other geological storage. Uh, currently, the government is setting up the target of increasing uh, oil production to 1 million barrels per day and gas to 12 uh, billion cubic feet per day uh, in 2030. Uh, not just from new fields, but also from remaining reserve in which CCUS may be implemented to increase production as well as to store the CO2 emission. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, there are a number of uh, CCUS studies, CCS and CCUS studies being conducted in Indonesia. I will mention three of the studies. Uh, first is the Gundih gas field uh, in central Java. Uh, the Gundih project has been started with preliminary study with the support of ADB and METI. We thank you for that. And now we are happy to witness the joint st uh, study agreement amongst Pertamina, our state-owned uh, oil and gas company, uh, Janus and uh, uh, G, uh, JGC and G Power from uh, Japan, as well as our COE centers at Bandung of Technology. Uh, we hope that uh, the study will be uh, successful and uh, the implementation of Gundi uh, CCUS project will be implemented in uh, 2026 or around that. The early study shows that potential CO2 reduction will be around 800 ton per day with incremental gas production around 16 uh, billion standard cubic feet. The second uh, study is on the Sukawati oil field. This is owned by uh, Pertamina, uh, the CO2 reduction is expected around 4,000 ton per day with incremental oil production to uh, 10,000 barrel of oil uh, per day and expected full-scale injection 2028. The, the, the other important uh, project that now is being under discussion uh, uh, is the BP LNG projects. Uh, this project is expected to start uh, in 2026 uh, with projected CO2 reduction uh, to achieve like 3 million per year with potential production to uh, 200 uh, uh, BSGF and uh, with uh, potential big, this is the, the, the biggest potential for uh, CO2 reduction uh, uh, on planning uh, at this time in Indonesia. Next slide, please. 
what challenge we face uh, in developing uh, our CCS and CCUS uh, uh, technology. Uh, first, I think with the cost associated with uh, capture, transport, and storage technology. We're happy to hear from our distinguished speakers recent uh, th this morning that uh, uh, the, the price, uh, the cost of the technology is getting uh, down and down. And I think uh, if we can have that uh, very soon, uh, the, the cost of the capture, transport, and storage to be down, then I think we expect that the implementation of uh, CCS and CCUS will be more and more uh, impl implementable uh, in the very near future. Uh, another issue that we face is uh, on our internal issues is uh, regarding the treatment of CCUS uh, uh, policy on the current PSG terms. This is under discussion uh, in our internal uh, ministries, uh, how to treat the CCUS under the current PSG terms. And other challenge is, of course, to strengthen our capacity on uh, monitoring, reporting, and verification of the uh, CCUS projects. Uh, as well as in, in the integrating the storage and the pipe to, the pipeline to source other than oil and gas, like uh, from emission from from cement industries as well as from the uh, electricity uh, source. Uh, another issue, of course, is how we treat the the credit we get from the the CCUS into the, our our NDC target and our uh, NDC systems. That is under discussion uh, among us uh, now. Next slide. Uh, this is my, my, my last slide. Uh, in order to deploy the, uh, the CCS and uh, CCS technology, uh, we set a number of policies, including uh, Ministers of Energy and Resources decree uh, that uh, um, regulate uh, the inventory on CO2 capture and storage, implementation of CCS technology, and details of the MRV uh, studies. Also, we already have uh, uh, established the National Center of Excellence uh, on CCS and CCUS in 2017. Consists of experts from university, ITB, and from our centers. Uh, of uh, Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources Research Center, uh, Lemigas. We also, uh, the, the challenge, uh, the policy that we do uh, is conducting studies on CCS and CCS source and storage, uh, especially from oil and gas and electric sectors. We have uh, completed uh, some studies uh, regarding the numbers of CO2 emission that we, uh, that we, we, we get, as well as the potentials, uh, location, and numbers of uh, emission that we can store the underground. Uh, the other policy that we uh, we set is strengthen bilateral and multilateral, multilateral cooperation uh, on CCS and CCUS. Uh, this is very important uh, because we understand many countries already have experience on CCUS and we need to share that in order to accelerate the uh, the implementation of uh, CCUS in, in, in ASEAN countries, including Indonesia. And we thank AREA, of course, for facilitating this cooperation uh, among countries, uh, companies, <coughs> and also technical institutions. Uh, thank you, Pak Kimura.